the Eastern Conference Finals. The Bulls come in off a critical Game 1 win and are now poised and prepared as they attempt to take a 2-0 lead against the Bucks. The Eastern Conference Finals continue. Hey everyone, welcome to the 2K Sports Broadcast of the Eastern Conference Finals. Game 2, coming up with Grant Hill and Steve Smith. I'm Brian Anderson. Ali LaForce is our reporter. Here's the starting group for the Milwaukee Bucks. in at the point guard position. Taking a look at Chicago, and with a winning game one, they have an opportunity to put the hammer down tonight. Yeah, this would be a big step toward the final. To take a 2-0 lead tonight, with two more games left on their home court, would put them in terrific position. So the Bucks win the tip. Lopez, the screen, and here's Lillard from beyond the arc. It's hauled in by the Bulls. And I'm surprised that didn't go down. I mean, I'm sure he is too. Inside, and the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Lopez. <laughs> Almost had the steal. You have to love the pressure defense. Fantastic anticipation. He has active hands. Even though he doesn't come away with the turnover, he's disrupting their offensive flow. Here's Clutch. And that one's on target from the wing. The beauty of Draymond as a facilitator really sees the entire floor. Lillard fires away from way outside. Hits a three-pointer. You don't want to let him get into a rhythm from out there. Lillard's gone one for two from deep. Vucevic, a screen on Lillard. Clutch passes to Vucevic. Nice dish, and the layup goes down. Solid play from Vuce in the paint, using his physical advantage to get to his shot. For three, here's Lillard. It's hauled in by DeMar DeRozan. And so DeRozan will bring it up for the Bulls. Pass to Clutch. Vucevic, a screen on Crowder. Oh, there's the alley! When operating in the pick and roll, Vooch knows how to use angles to free himself up. The Bucks have gone one for three so far. Over to the left wing. Anadokounmpo against Green. Left block shot on the way. Oh, thanks that one. He's 0 for 1 to start. What a defensive play. Gets the stop and does it without fouling. Green with a screen on Lillard. Clutch passes to Green. And stolen by Ana de Kumpo. And the Bucks pushing it up now. And the Bucks miss again. Hard to create space in that mid-range area. He would have been better passing that off. Vucevic, a screen on Lillard. On the take. Here's Clutch. And Chicago again with a bucket. And obviously their goal right now is to feed him the ball and get him going. Because he's someone that you lean on at the offensive end. Establish him early. Chalk up two there. Good read from Malik. Noticing the overcommitment and making the defense pay for it. The Bulls have gone 4-4 four four from the floor. Perfect start. Here's Clutch. Defended by Lillard. Clutch. Fades away. And the Bulls tack on two more. And whatever coach told them coming out of the locker room, they're listening. Five out of five already. They set a pick. For three, here's Lillard. Rebound by the Bulls. Off the mark once again. Terrible quarter for him thus far. 
Vucevic, a screen on Lillard. And he's going for the lob! Oh, incredible! Save that one. I want to watch it again. Awesome! Here's Anadokounmpo. First quarter of action, just under three and a half minutes played. Lopez passes to Anadokounmpo. Now here's Beasley, five to shoot. Pass to Lillard, fires the three. And it's cleared by Vucevic. The green light they gave him early <laughs> should probably turn red. He needs to get others involved. That one drops for him. <laughs> I just love the ball. Beat. Milwaukee has gone one for five from three-point range. A cold start. And here's Lillard from beyond the arc. And the Bucks miss again. Man, miss after miss for him. When you're having a quarter like this, the only beneficiary is the defense. Takes a three. That one's good from Green. And the assist by Vucevic. They've been very effective so far. A balanced attack at its best. And it's helped them build an early lead. They just need to stay aggressive. Now here's Lillard. And the Bucks miss again. Something's off about him this quarter. And it also shows you how difficult this game is. He's just a little bit off, but it can result in missing everything. It's tipped. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Bulls will retain possession. And let's take a look at who's been lights out from beyond the arc in this year's playoffs. And you look at Caruso. He is downright lethal from distance, ranking first in the league in three-point percentage. And, of course, DeMar DeRozan, he's right there with those guys. These guys have delivered from beyond the arc in a big way here in the postseason, stepping up and embracing the spotlight. Now here's Caruso. No points so far. Clock at six. That miss aside, they're off to a strong start at the offensive end. Off target from outside. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. Pass to Lillard. Lopez, the screen. Lillard can't get that one to fall. You know, we talk a lot about scoring efficiency. He's displaying the exact opposite. Misses the one-handed jam. And so it's on to Kumpo with it. He brings it up for the Bucks. A 12-point game. Beasley's going to take that three all day if you don't step out on him. Here's Clutch, defended by Lillard. Clutch passes to Vucevic. And here's Caruso outside. Anadokounmpo grabs the board. The Bucks shooting just 25% from the field in the first quarter. Lillard passes to Crowder. To the left side wing. To the inside. And here's Lillard from beyond the arc. And the box hit again from deep. Look how focused Lillard can be. Striking before the D can collapse on him. Here's Clutch. He's got six. Boy, left it right in the sweet spot with the lob. Nicely done. And he's been an ideal teammate tonight. He's really creating plenty of looks with his passing. There has been an emphasis on ball movement, and he's been a major catalyst. Here's Lillard following the bucket by the Bulls. Wasted no time with that shot, but it's off the mark. The struggle is real. He's been way off with his shot all evening long. Green with a screen on Lillard. Clutch passes to Green. And count the basket. He was fouled, and he's going to the line for one more. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the Bulls. Right now, it's their passing game, and it's been on point, doing a great job of moving it around and getting the ball to their shooters. And what's more, they're getting their feet wet down there in the paint early on. Not shying away at all, taking it inside. What a great way to start. The way Draymond carries himself plays with a chip on both shoulders, which can be good and bad. Now here's Anadokounmpo. Beasley finds Anadokounmpo. 
And here's Lopez. No good on the shot. Nice D from Vucevic. Crowder against DeRozan. Vucevic, the pass to Clutch. Vucevic, a screen on Lillard. Here's Clutch, defended by Lillard. The three from DeRozan, buries it from three. DeRozan's got five now. You can't help but look toward their defense. <laughs> They're totally lost. Lillard, a screen on Caruso. Up top, Lopez to halt the run. Rebound by the Bulls. Pass to Clutch. Green with a screen on Lillard. Here's Clutch. Defended by Lillard. Now Vucevic. Outside for Green. The three ball. And again, it's the Bulls from deep. And it hasn't just been their stellar offense. Their defense has been effective as well. Yes, when it's going good, it feels easy. These are the nights you relish, but they're tough to replicate. Timeout called. Milwaukee. He's checked in for DeRozan. And Milwaukee with a change here, too. Portis, he's checked in for Anadokounmpo. And the Bucks with the possession here. Trailing by 17. And Lillard puts up a deep three. Knocks down the triple. Nine points in the game. Taking more of them lately. Lillard getting comfortable from three. Vucevic, a screen on Lillard. Pass to Green. Over Portis. And it's Green missing. Milwaukee shooting just about 29% so far. Not great. Here's Lillard. And it's cleared by Vucevic. Vucevic has got his fifth rebound in this one. Yeah, he's really scrambling to keep them in this game. Gotta respect that hustle. They've controlled the paint so far. That's been the difference. I'll tell you, this was their strategy coming in. They obviously identified a weakness there inside. And so Lillard will bring it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. It's a 16-point game. And another three for Milwaukee. Taking things into his own hands this quarter. Trying to keep his team afloat. Here's Clutch. Defended by Lillard. Pass to Caruso. Here's Clutch. Shot clock at six. Here's Green. Crowder grabs the miss. The way they've gotten after rebounds has been impressive. And out of bounds would be Chicago ball. And the Bulls making a change here. The Sumo's checked in. <laughs> Chicago has gone three for five from deep so far in this matchup. And they call an illegal screen here. One of the trickier plays to judge. But it would be hard to argue against the call. It's often a tough call that can go either way. But I agree with you on that one. Now here's Lillard. He's got 12. Out to the right wing. Portis down low. Green covering. Beverly outside. Just five on the clock. Pass to Bochev. Let's the three fly. Chicago grabs the miss. Vucevic has got six rebounds in the game. There's a screen. The Sumu. Pass to Green. Basket counts. Green's got 11 points. Getting out to a nice lead. Great flow and great execution. Green's gone four for six from the field. And here's Lillard from beyond the arc. Chicago grabs the miss. Green's got a rebound number five here tonight. Pass to Clutch. 
pick by Vucevic. And he lobs it up top. Up high and down it goes on the lob. Using the height and wingspan there, Vuce is able to get up and punch that one off the lob. Vucevic has got a perfect five for five from the field. Portis the screen. Here's Lillard. Let's it go from the baseline and nails it. 14 points for him. They're still behind, but not because of his efforts. He's been unbelievable this quarter. Gallinari brings a double. The swim move for three. Ball stolen. Beverly on the wing. He's guarded by White. Gallinari's shot is off. Mm, I'm not sure what happened on that play. They have relaxed a little bit once he got to the rim. Clutch passes to Vucevic. Hammers the lob through. And early on, they've been on a tear. Just getting whatever they want offensively. They established the pace. They made shots. This is why they're way out in front. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. Lillard can't get it to go. You expect him to make that, especially from that distance. Here's Clutch. Gallinari pulls it in. When it goes in, it looks pretty. When it doesn't, you question the shot difficulty. Lillard looking around. Pulls up, high post. That one rolls around and rims out. And so it's the Chicago Bulls out in front by 19 going into the break. Their efficiency has been off the charts. They're running their sets well with patience and purpose. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the Eastern Conference Finals presented by 2K Sports. Guys, we've seen a confident-looking Bulls team out there. I'll tell you what, judging from that first period, you have to love what they're doing offensively. Crushing it, absolutely crushing it. Shooting lights out, building it. The will make substitutions. Timeout called for the Bulls. And real quick, let's check out the field goal percentage leaders in the postseason. Kobe White third. The fourth spot held by DeMar DeRozan. They've been both taking great shots. That's the efficiency you want in the postseason. Thanks, guys. Well, Clutch in their last time out against the Bucks was a man on a mission. He finished with 47 points and moved the ball well, feeding the hot hands. He was really special on that game, and they're hoping he could repeat that kind of performance tonight. Guys, back to you. Well, it'll be interesting to see how much of that performance carries over into this one. His goal is to provide whatever the team needs from him on that particular evening. Well, that's what it means to be unselfish, putting the team's interests first. As you say, he just wants to come away with the W. Portis with a screen on Caruso. Caruso against Anadokounmpo. Pass to Lopez. And a great assist by Anadokounmpo. And that one goes in. Lopez has gotten his first points of the night. And using that size to his advantage. I, mean, I like it when Lopez establishes himself inside and looks to capitalize. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. Man, he made sure to get his money's worth on that foul. At the line for Chicago, number 86. Now 
And he drops it first. Draymond Green, he's checked in for Chicago. So he hits one of two from the strike. Yeah, they, they're really cashing in more at the line here in the second quarter. All this means is he has to be careful. Don't want to pick up a cheapie and get sent to the bench with three fouls. Portis outside. Pass to Anadokounmpo. Now here's Lopez. Green covering. Five on the clock. Beverly, the pass to Anadokounmpo. Alex Caruso playing hard-nosed defense, challenging every shot. Fires from the corner. And DeRozan with the basket. On the assist by White. White's got his fourth assist with that last one. The Bucks have gone 5 of 10 in the second quarter. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. Here are the Bulls with the ball. They're on a 17-7 run. Here's Clutch. Beverly defending. Here's Clutch. That one a little long. Milwaukee has gone 2 of 6 from distance here in the second quarter. Beverly with it. Green picks him up. Here's Lopez. Gets it to drop. Now 2 of 4. Chicago has gone 5 of 8 from outside the three-point line in this one. Here's Clutch. Beverly defending. Here's Clutch. Oh, yes. The turnaround. Clutch has got 13. Adds to their lead. They've been able to rely on him all night. Beverly outside. Pass to Anadokounmpo. That's his third basket in five shots. Solid work. Defense puts good pressure on Giannis inside, but he just refuses to back off and gets it to go. Here's Clutch. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. It's on Patrick Beverly. <laughs> no debate there. He got hammered. That's the line for the ball. Number 86. And the first one at the line is good. After having no trip to the free throw line in the first period, he's being much more aggressive now. Nikola Vucevic is checked in for DeMar DeRozan. Crowder, he's checked in for the Bucks. Lillard comes in for Beverly. Screen by Anadokounmpo. Beasley, pass to Anadokounmpo. Picked his pocket! Here's Clutch. He's got 14. And the three off target. And he's going for the oop here. Ooh, Giannis dunks it home. Impressive how in sync Giannis is with his squad, enabling them to set up a flashy alley-oop. Vucevic, a screen on Lillard. Clutch passes to White. He buries it from three. White's got himself going here. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Now here's Lillard. Defense right on him. Launches it. Caruso grabs the board. And it's Caruso with the ball for the Chicago Bulls. They lead by 24. Their biggest margin. Vucevic, a screen on Lillard. Here's Clutch. Rejected by Lopez. Just an effective shot blocker. Lopez using all of that seven feet, and he does a great job of picking his spots. And the Bucks making a change here. Portis has checked in. Green against Portis. Six on the shot clock. On the attack, Green, and he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Draymond is such a multi-talented player. He continues to develop his drive to the basket. Draymond Green, two shots, one assist. 
The first free throw is good. And both free throws good for Green. Milwaukee with the ball. Lillard outside. Looking to get back on track. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Not the guy you want to send to the strike. Damian Lillard cashes in on his free throws. Damian Lillard. So he gets them both. Chicago's gotten six of ten three-pointers to drop. Here's Clutch, defended by Lillard. Here's Clutch, and score it. That now makes him seven for 11 in this game. I'm not sure if he was trying to show off or what, but when you're that open, you got to go straight to the basket. The fadeaway was clearly a bad choice. Now here's Lillard. Not a lot of room. And a miss there on the triple. They really have a commanding lead, not just in points, but in rebounds as well. And here's Caruso outside. And that comes off the assist by Green. Green's got three assists in the game. An area of his game that Caruso continues to work on. Nice to see him knocking him down. Now here's Lillard. Defense is right there. From deep three-point land. It's hauled in by the Bulls. After scoring with ease in the first quarter, he's really cooled down a bunch here. Pass to Clutch. From outside the arc. And again, it's the Bulls from deep. Alex Caruso, he can make that pass in his sleep. The Bucks shooting only 36% so far in this game. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. How about the unselfishness of this team? <laughs> yeah, the willingness to make the next pass has this defense scrambled. Here's Clutch. And it goes. That makes him 9 for 13 now. They have laid on him all quarter, and it has worked to perfection. For three, here's Lillard. Lillard can't get that one to fall. Hard to catch up when you can't hit shots. This is a quarter he liked to forget. Sinks it from distance. Riding the hot hand, and why not? If something's working, keep going to it. A minute 58 left to play in the second quarter. Lillard can't get that one to fall. He has gone ice cold this quarter. Obviously not helping their cause. Vucevic, a screen on Lillard. And stolen by Beasley. Lillard outside. And again, it's the Bucks missing. And they're up considerably because of their efforts on the glass. Clutch passes to White. 124 left in the first half. Caruso outside. No good on the three. Milwaukee shooting just 38% in this quarter. Crowder outside. Pass to Lopez. Shoots over White. And it's Lopez. That time on the assist from Crowder. Lopez has got six points. Now we're starting to see him deliver on offense. He's really found his tempo here in the second quarter. Green with a screen on Lillard. And there's the lob. Portis with the steal. 43 seconds left to play in the half. Beasley, that's good. Got to D up Beasley from the corner or else he will punish you. Vucevic, a screen on Lillard. Here's Clutch. Oh, 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 young clear fella. the deck. Deck cleared. Getting up. And then throwing it down. Oh, that was a big hammer right there. And so Lillard will bring it up for the Bucks. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Pass to Portis. Back to Lillard. Let's it go from deep. Caruso grabs the board. Here's Clutch, defended by Lillard. 
Clutch passes to Vucevic. Lopez with the steal. And through one half, it hasn't even been close. It's the Bulls delivering the blowout. And time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow on 2K Sports. And we thank you for joining this postseason broadcast, and it's been an outstanding first half for the Chicago Bulls. I don't think you can expect them to perform better offensively than they did in the first half, honestly. So the question becomes, Shaq, how do you sustain that efficiency? Yeah, we see teams get a lead and they become trigger happy. Got to stay disciplined. Checking out the circumstances for the Chicago Bulls. They continue to press the advantage. A big halftime lead. They are in control. The series playing out in their favor, and so far, they've been the better team. They're playing with a lot of confidence right now. It's hard to see them slowing down. That's for sure. They have the momentum. Appreciate you joining us. It's been our distinct pleasure, and I mean that. Let's now take you back over to the third quarter with Brian Anderson. Let's get you back to the action as game two is getting underway. They've got Alex Caruso. Draymond Green is out there with Nikola Vucevic. Then it's DeMar DeRozan. And it's Clutch in at the one. So that's the five in the game for Chicago. The Bucks shooting 35% so far in this one. Now Beasley to the paint. Well-timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. Lillard's got 18 points in the game, and the Bulls' shooting has been spectacular. 67%, just incredible. Picked by Vucevic. Clutch passes to Vucevic. Misses from short range. Ana de Kumpo with it, guarded by Vucevic. Lillard outside. Beyond the arc. And it's cleared by Vucevic. Vucevic has got 14. Yep, 14 rebounds for him tonight. Vucevic, a screen on Lillard. And he lobs it up. Lopez with the steal. Vucevic against Lillard. And here now, a list of the players who have had the hottest hand in the playoffs. Damian Lillard fourth. Perfect time to take it to another level offensively. He's really carried them at that end. Damian Lillard. Two shots. down the first one. Lillard, he takes pride in being a leader for his team. His hunger to win is undeniable. And both free throws good for Lillard. The Bulls on offense. First minute and a half of basketball played here in the third quarter. Clutch passes to Green. DeRozan outside. Down to five on the shot clock. The Bulls need to get off a shot. And here's Caruso outside. And the three-pointer goes. Caruso's got his second bucket on the night. Alice Caruso's off-the-ball action is excellent. Lillard fires away from way outside. Milwaukee, no good that time either. Green with a screen on Lillard. Pass to DeRozan. Outside, Green. 
Here's Clutch. Back to Green. Pulls it. Milwaukee with the rebound. Shaky start to the half. Going one for four. Still trying to find that groove. Crowder with it. Picked up by DeRozan. Beasley with it. Back to Lillard. Ooh, he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. DeMar DeRozan picks one up. From Milwaukee, Damian Lillard. Two shots. And he makes a first. And both free throws good for Lillard. Well, we're into the third quarter. Just over two and a half minutes played. Pick by Vucevic. Clutch passes to Vucevic. Shoots over Lopez. The bank shot, no good. Very cold start to the second half. One for five. Looking for some continuity. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Nice work by Beasley getting physical and winning the foul call while in the act. First free throw is good. He's perfect from the line this time. Clock keeps going. Three minutes into the second half now. Here's Clutch. Defended by Lillard. Here's Clutch. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Damian Lillard picks one up. At the line for two, number 86. And falls for him. Good on both. And it's Lillard with a ball for the Bucks. Since halftime, they've only allowed five points. Crowder outside. Pass to Beasley. Here's Ana de Kumpo. And it's Chicago with the board. Green's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Green with a screen on Crowder. Clutch passes to Green. And Giannis Ana de Kumpo picks up that foul. That's his first foul of the game. First personal foul. Second team foul. Pass to Clutch. They double him with Crowder. Six to shoot. DeRozan passes to Green. Night in and night out, Jay Crowder will compete. Terrific effort at the defensive end. A nice shot by Lillard. He's a producer. It's part of their plan to get him as many touches as possible. For Chicago, they've gone only one for six here in the second half. Green with a screen on Lillard. Here's Clutch. Kicks it to DeRozan. From deep. Hits the trifecta. DeRozan's got 12 points in the game. And it's a bonus whenever DeRozan connects from outside. This has to increase his confidence. And here's Lillard from beyond the arc. Chicago grabs the miss. Green's got rebound number eight now. Here's Clutch, and that one's good. And Green with the assist. Green's got four assists in the game. Down the stretch, this is when they need him the most, and he is delivering. Lillard outside. Pass to Lopez. Over Vucevic, and Lopez gets it to go. Give him eight. Damian Lillard. 
for Chicago. They've gotten just three of eight shots to go in the third quarter. Here's Clutch, defended by Lillard. Here's Clutch. Again, the Bulls score. They're going old school out there now, working the mid-range part of the floor. Lillard, a screen on Caruso. Beasley, the pass to Lillard. Connects on the foul line jumper. Lillard's got 11 points here in the second half. Stepping in for that shot, great idea by Dane. Here's Clutch, defended by Lillard. He's a living highlight reel. Seriously, that could end up being one of the best dunks of the year. Once again, an explosive highlight on the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Milwaukee with the ball. And here's Beasley. Give him eight points now. Pass to Anadokounmpo. Crowder outside. There's the three. Rebounded by Green. Chicago has gone two of three from outside so far in the third quarter. Caruso against Beasley. And it's DeRozan missing. For Milwaukee, they've gone four of nine in the third quarter. <laughs> and they've been playing with much greater physicality this half. Getting themselves to the free throw line is a bust. And let's take a moment here to get your take, guys, on the scoring so far for the Bulls. They've been lights out from three-point land in this one. The defense hasn't been effective at stopping them, so they have just stuck with the game plan. Well, something else that stands out is how they've shared the ball. I mean, they're getting a lot of their points from sharp passing. No good on the free throw. And Giannis will just about do anything the coaching staff asks. A true team player. A big group substitution here for Chicago. Andre Drummond is checked in for Vucevic. Williams comes in for Green. Nasumu, he's checked in for DeMar DeRozan. And it's White in for Caruso. And Milwaukee with a change here, too. Beverly, he's checked in for Crowder. Here's Clutch. And again, it's the Bulls from deep. His first three of the half. That gives him nine total points from beyond the arc so far. Lopez, the screen. Out to Lillard. Beverly on the wing. Lana Kumpo outside. Just five to shoot. Lopez passes to Beasley. And they come right back with their own three-pointer. Beasley's got 11 points. And Malik Beasley answering them with his own three-point shot. Outside, Williams. And out of bounds. Milwaukee will have it. And this is who's leading the charge when it comes to rebounding here in the postseason. Andre Drummond, third. The fourth spot held by Giannis Antetokounmpo. Those two have thrown their bodies on the glass during this postseason, showing how badly they want to give their teams any edge they can on the boards. The Bucks have gotten five of ten shots to go. Lopez passes to Beasley. Now here's Lillard. Back to Beasley. From behind the arc. The rebound by Clutch. Chicago's going three of four from outside in the second half. Drummond, the screen on Lillard. Throws it up high. And Drummond with the jam. So gifted. Drummond soars through the air, then explodes on the finish. Well, the Bucks shooting 45% here in the second half. Pass to Lillard. Three-pointer. He drops it from range. Lillard's got 30 points. How can you leave this guy that wide open? Please. That's terrible. Puts up a three. Rebounded by Lopez. Lopez has got six rebounds in the game. For three, here's Lillard. The shot misses. The Bulls have gotten seven of 14 attempts to fall in the half. Drummond, the screen on Lillard. Here's Clutch. 
And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket is good, and he'll go to the line. And this is what you want to do when you've got a big lead. You must stay aggressive. I'm impressed with their intensity tonight. They've came in focused, and they've executed. Gallinari, he's checked in for Milwaukee. Javi Portis comes in for Anadokounmpo. And so Lillard will bring it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. A deep three. Chicago grabs the miss. Outside White. Pass to Clutch. Sends it down right in his face. B.A., the one-hand dunk just looks so fluid. Yeah, absolutely. Even smooth when he's powering it home like that. Now here's Lillard. The D's right on him. Beasley outside. And here's Portis. Williams defending from the low block. And he can't bank that one in. The Bulls shooting it around 66%. They're on fire. Drummond, the screen on Beverly. Clutch passes to Drummond. And Drummond with the jam. It was contact there, but that's not enough to stop Andre Drummond. Lillard with the ball. 30 points in the game. Portis the screen. Can they get it? Lillard can't get it to go. A rough game for him scoring the ball. Just can't seem to get it going. Drummond, the screen on Portis. Clutch passes to Drummond. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. Drummond's got six here in the quarter. They're winning the battle down low by imposing their will. Offensively, it's been a struggle for them. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. Count it good. It's amazing. No one can check him right now, but there's still work to do to cut into this lead. Here's Clutch, defended by Lillard. Clutch passes to Drummond. And another dime for him. That makes 15 assists. He has been one step ahead of the defense all game long. Pass to Beasley. This one for three. Sinks the tray. Beasley's got 14. Lackluster defense. Showing no desire to chase shooters off that line. Here's Clutch. Defended by Lillard. And he lobs it up to the rim. And Williams punches it home. Credit them for making the right halftime adjustments. What it was, they are getting better shots, which has gotten them into a rhythm, and they're knocking down everything. Portis finds Lillard. That three's off the mark. This is the shot they wanted to get. Right guy, right spot, wrong result. White with it. Portis picks him up. White against Beverly. Drummond, the screen on Beverly. White for three. It's hauled in by Portis. Here's Milwaukee. Galladari for three. He can't hit that time. Chicago with the ball. They're on a 13-5 run. Williams, a screen on Lillard. Pass to Drummond. Now White. Drummond with the screen. The teardrop, and White lays it in. Five points in the game. His quickness is almost unguardable. Kobe White with the nice little floater. Here's Lillard. The rebound by Clutch. Clutch has got rebound number five here tonight. Let's go with a three. Oh, it would have counted had it fallen, but it is offline. And so it's Chicago making this game a no contest. They poured it on early, and they've never let up. They're communicating well and stringing together stops. All right, stick around. We'll be right back after this.
and a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm Assist of the Game. And I'll tell you what, this was a no-brainer tonight. Take a look at the precision on this feed. Couldn't place it any better. This is why you preach teamwork. Some of the most spectacular plays are the ones where guys are feeding off one another. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. The Bucks shooting. <laughs> Beasley's checked in for Milwaukee. Taking a look at the Bucks, Giannis and Portis work together inside. Malik Beasley is out there with Patrick Beverly. And it's Bochamp in at the three. Williams from long range. Sends it home from three-point land. Total readiness from Patrick. Got his feet set and just waiting for his number to be called. Beverly outside. Pass to Anadokounmpo. And they double up on it to Kumpo. Six on the shot clock. Here's Bochamp. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Ball left side. If they keep hitting free throws at this clip, it'll help them seal the deal. Second personal foul. Third team foul. At the line for the Bulls, Lonzo Ball. Two shots. And that one falls for Ball. An unselfish young guard, Lonzo Ball takes pride, in my opinion, of success of others. Probably why his teammates love playing with him. Green's checked in for Chicago. Gallinari, he's checked in for the Bucks. The Bucks have gotten four of nine shots to go in during this fourth quarter. Pass to Anadokounmpo. Back to Beverly. And here is Anadokounmpo. Hope loose. And a fast break now for the Bulls. A heady defense from Lonzo Ball sparking that run out. If you don't protect the rock, you'll swipe it. Milwaukee's got two of five threes to go here in the fourth. Here's Gallinari. Will it go? And it's good. Two points. Now ball. And there's a pick. And the Bucks pushing it up now. Here's on it Kumpo. It's tipped. And they'll get another chance. For Chicago, they've gotten five shots out of nine to go in this fourth. Green with a screen on Beasley. Clutch passes to Green. Portis with the steal. It's a three-on-three -three fast break. Here's Beverly. Ooh, the lead pass was in the perfect spot to set up the layup. Gallinari, very unselfish, draws a lot of defensive attention, which often leads to open teammates. He's been a piece of the puzzle tonight, but it's a team effort. Everyone's contributing to this lead. Here's Anadokounmpo. Pass to Portis. Knocked away. And a fast break now for the Bulls. Incredible. I mean, high energy in transition. Just feeding the defense up the floor. And I just love it when the fast break results in a high percentage look. Not always the case these days. Out of the Kumpo, the pass to Portis. Oh, it's blocked by Green. This is how it's been so far. He's missed every shot he's taken, and the team is suffering the consequences. Clutch passes to Green. Here's to Sumu. Pass the ball. Fires for three. Gallinari pulls it in. His inability to make shots has not brought this team down. That shows you their resourcefulness. Beasley, pass to Beverly. 
And here's Portis. Clock at six. Over Green. On to Kumpo for three. It's hauled in by the Bulls. Ball outside. Drummond with the screen. Ball passes to Drummond. Ball with it. 4-3. The putback. Anadokounmpo grabs the board. Milwaukee has gone 2 of 6 so far in the fourth. Here's Beasley. And again, it's the Bucks missing. And so it's Ball with it. He brings it up for the Chicago Bulls. There's a screen. To the left wing. Drummond finds Green. And Portis comes to help. Out to the wing. Drummond for three. Milwaukee with the rebound. Portis has got seven rebounds in the game. Gallinari, the pass to Beverly. And now the Bulls in transition. And that one's good. Green. And another great assist. The offense is really clicking now. When you're casual with the ball, it can come back to bite you. The NBA playing loose can help you and hurt you. They really need to tighten it up. Here's Portis. Off the mark, and the drought continues. He's been scoreless for a while now. They're still trailing here. They might want to move to some other options offensively. Drummond passes to Clutch. Drummond with the screen. Outside, Green. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Drummond. Careless turnover. You lose focus for even a moment in this league. That's the result. Some changes for Chicago. Craig is checked in for Green. And it's White in for Desumu. Milwaukee shooting the ball at only 35% here in the fourth quarter. Lillard outside. Looking to get it going. Ooh, Beasley has an open look. Good. And it's Lillard who picks up the assist. the assist. Wasting no time right there. I like when Beasley is assertive on offense. Drummond, the screen on Beasley. Throws it up, and again, another assist. And he's in total control of the offense. What a game passing it. He's almost at the franchise record for assists in a playoff game. The Bucks shooting 36% for the game. Not great. Craig against Anadokounmpo. Pass to Lopez. For three, here's Lillard. On oh, target from range. Lillard's got 35. The range of Lillard is endless. You cannot let him get looks from deep. Dame will hit him. White on the wing. There's the triple. Another possession. Another assist. And that's his 20th assist. Wow. He's doing a great job at orchestrating the offense. And game two of the conference finals is always so important. What a great win this is for the Bulls. Pretty clear who the better team was today. They dominated in just about every phase of this game, Grant. <laughs> VA, it's almost hard to think what didn't go well for them. Their plan, their execution, everything was absolutely on point. Another statement win here in these conference finals. They look like they're in complete control and want to finish this series as quickly as possible. But at the same time, it's important that they don't get too ahead of themselves. We've seen teams come back from 2-0 deficits before, so it's important they maintain this momentum. And they lead by 45. A minute 20 left to play in the fourth quarter of this one. It's both from the stripe. A minute 20 left in the fourth quarter. Here's Clutch. He's guarded by Beasley. Clutch passes to Drummond. Doesn't go that time. Good work defensively by Lopez. Milwaukee has gone three of seven from the perimeter during the fourth. Beasley finds Anna Kumpo. From 12 feet, 
And that one's long. He's lost his momentum in a big hurry. Coming off an excellent quarter, now he just can't find the bucket. Craig with a screen on Beasley. And he's going for the lob. Crowder with a steal. 35 seconds left in the fourth. Lillard into the lane. Ooh, excellent D there from Ball. Chicago with the ball. Here's Clutch. Again! What an avalanche! <laughs> My goodness! 50 for the game. Just putting on a show. Lillard against Ball. The three is up. Lillard can't get it to go. Here's Clutch. Drummond, the screen on Beasley from deep three-point land. Good. He hits again. And he's been dominant so far in this one. Shouldering the offense. Really taking it to the opposition. So no problem for Chicago as they get the win. And this win shows they have the momentum so far in this series. Up two games to none now. They just look so confident out there. They're playing selfless ball, and their chemistry has never looked better.